exclusive forecast is provided by WLKY Weather. Whenever you need the forecast, just ask, what's Jay say? Hi, everybody. I'm Chief Meteorologist Jay Cardosi at WLKY. Okay, some nice events going on as we move into the upcoming July weekend. Let's start off with the Quaker State 400 at the Kentucky Speedway. Uh, this is Saturday, uh, July 14th in Sparta. Uh, the parking lot opens at 7 o'clock in the morning, all-day event, just a full schedule of racing going on. Uh, but the Quaker State 400 itself, the green flag, is at 7.30 in the evening. I'm sure that event is going to be jam-packed and a good one. We also have a Corvette and quilt show going on. This is happening also Saturday in Comiskey, Indiana at the Stream Cliff Farm Restaurant and Winery. Now from 1 to 3 in the afternoon, uh, the Madison Vet Club is hosting the Corvette show. Admission is free. And from 10 o'clock in the morning to 4 in the afternoon, uh, Windy Waters Quilt Show is going on. The admission also free for that event. Here's your forecast. Nice in the morning, big time warmth in the afternoon. Your high 95. Hey, Jay, tell us what do you say? What do we say? We can count on you. After two decades, we can say a lot about Jay Cardosi. We can say he has your most accurate forecast and is the Ohio Valley weather expert. But it's not about what we say. What matters is what's Jay say. What's Jay say about your weekend plans, your little league game? His answer is still the one more people trust. Want to know the forecast? Just ask. What's Jay say? say? Madison Regatta in the city of Madison period. Uh, we were able to pass out $20,000 plus local civic organizations for coming out and working over the weekend and it's an amazing thing for them and an even better thing for us. It's all about partnerships with Madison Regatta now and building those bridges that we've had before and restoring trust. So as, as a, a, the president of the organization from this year and the next couple of years, I, I want to say a big thank you to the volunteers, even bigger thank you to the fans that have come out and made this possible. And uh, we're, as much as we can, we're going to keep money local. We're reinvesting in the community and, and trying to make everybody's organizations better. And, and again, partnerships and relationships are what we're all about this time. And, and thank you for your support. And we'll see you 2019. You got to regatta. Hi, my name is Camille Krim, and I am with Madison Volleyball. This is my first year coaching and our first year down here at Regatta with me. And we had a wonderful experience. We were very excited to be a part of it. And with the money we received from Regatta, we're going to get to buy team bags and have team meals before our games this year. So we're very excited about that. Thank you, everyone that helped support. Hi, I'm Libby Hoffman with the uh, Madison Regatta. I was with Regatta for several years um, previous to this year and was recruited to come back as RISPAN compliance officer and a Gates chairperson with Curtis Chatham. Um, this year was a very successful weekend. There were a lot of people on the river. It was a great weather. It was great boats. We had a great time. Um, it was a lot of work. Um, if you are interested in participating and helping with the Madison Regatta, please come to our first Regatta meeting. We'll be in September. Um, we're always looking for new members, always looking for um, new people to come out and help out. We've got all kinds of people that um, are great, that will help, that will assist you any way you need help. We just need more people to come. Um, we are looking forward, already starting to plan for next year. Um, Matt True is been phenomenal at putting this thing together. It was a great show from front to back. Um, wristband sales were great. RV sales were great. Vendors um, couldn't ask for a better show this year. Um, please, if you're interested, contact the Madison Regatta office at 812-274-0400. All right, I'm Patrick Morrison with the Madison Football Cubs. Um, Again, we were very thankful to have the opportunity to come back. We've helped out with Regatta for at least the last eight years that I know of. Uh, in the past, we've worked at Gate, um, and this year we got asked to help out at the music festival. Um, it's definitely a different experience, but also a very um, great experience and had a great opportunity. Time flew by. I stayed very busy the two evenings that we were down there working. Um, very thankful for the Mass and Regatta, and very thankful for the opportunity we had to help out this past weekend. 
I'm Curtis Chatham with the Madison Regatta, 2018 RV Chairman and Co. Wristband Compliance Gate Chairperson with Libby Hoffman. Um, we're just wrapping up uh, making our donation to the local organizations that worked our gates this weekend for our festival. One of the most successful ones we've had in some time. We were able to give away a little more than $20,000 to some local groups along with groups across the river in Tribble County. Um, great, great effort by our board. Um, lots and lots of new volunteers helping with the music festival, helping with the racing weekend. Um, new groups working gates, uh, return groups coming back. Um, totally new direction being pushed by our president, Matt True, to get things in line, more organized, um, more accountability, and just putting on a great show for the community. Okay. Um, first time we did this is Trump County Basketball, my first year as a coach. We really appreciate doing this. It worked out well for us. Great fundraiser. My parents enjoyed it. We loved being over here and being part of it. So it was a good time. Really worked out well for us. So we're glad we were here. Hopefully we can come back next year. Um, this is the first year for the girls basketball here at Madison uh, to be involved in this and it was a great opportunity for us uh, to be out in the community for, for the community to see us and partner with the regatta and uh, it, it just helps us fundraise and, and get all the supplies that we need for the ongoing season and, and the summer that, that we have for our program and it, it's uh, just beneficial because it takes a lot to, uh, to sustain a basketball program. Uh -huh.